Hey everybody, Haley Box here. So my Bane, my main coon, wanted to come and be a part of the video. So he's gonna hang out here until he chooses not to or whatever. So be prepared, he's probably gonna leap off at some unknown moment, knowing him. So the topic of the day in the second part of this little video series is you are not what you sell. Your business is not what you sell. So, and Kristen Darkenwald has made a video similar to this. I have my own spin to things though too. So, the marketplace is a very unpredictable place. It's really and truly you cannot predict the trends that will happen. And there are a lot of books out there about Freakonomics and just how unpredictable the whole situation is. And having said that, we don't know what the market has in store for our MLM, for our particular business. It's a very unpredictable market out there. You know, your company could go bust. Hopefully it won't, but it could. And even the most stable ones can topple over. So, the reason why I'm saying this is when you ally your name to a particular company and that company for whatever reason goes bust and you're jumping from MLM company to MLM company because that one didn't work out, this one didn't work out, you know, people don't always know that, so all that they're seeing is that you're jumping from one MLM company to another MLM company. And that's like a very bad resume. So, you know, there's a lot of mentors who talk about personal branding and how important personal branding is, and this is one of those reasons too, because your business is you, and about what you, as a person, have to offer a person, not just your MLM opportunity. Yes, the MLM opportunity is great, though for a lot of different reasons a person could be not attracted to that. Like, if a person already has an MLM company, they're not going to need another one. If a person doesn't really like the particular opportunity that you have, they might not join you because they see that you're allied with this company and they don't want to be a part of that. But you as a person may have something that they would love that you could offer them as a leader and as my brain is going to trip me up with his leash. So, you're the business of you. And there are many things that you as a person can offer them. And honestly, the best way to go about it is to have many different streams of income that tie into teaching people how to build a bigger business, how, how to build a better business and be in the business of them. It's best if you're as broad based as possible to offer generic marketing training that every that could that could apply to everyone and not just any particular opportunity you know mastermind communities are a great idea and having all these different streams it's like you're the storefront for a home and small business and you have things to offer this person you have things to offer that person in health you have this to offer that person in new skin you have this to offer the person who's just starting out and just needs some knowledge on how to pick the right MLM company for themselves all different kinds of things this leaves things a lot more open for you when you become the storefront of many different things and not a single MLM company so even if something really nasty happens and your MLM company goes bust, you have all of these different kinds of streams of income and really it's not that big of a deal and you're not starting all over again, which can hurt. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's the second installment of this week's training about personal branding and such. So comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And everybody, take care. We'll see you soon.